hot, hot, hot. Okay, let's roll. Hello, hi, how are you? Welcome to the Sunday vlog. Um, hi, if you're new here, my name is Lauren. I do lots of meal prep, what I eat videos, shopping hauls, Amazon, home goods, all of the things. Today, we're gonna be doing some organization because your girl needs it so badly, so badly. I bought all this fun organization stuff and just haven't had the time to use any of it. So that's what we're doing today. On top of all of the editing, because I have not put out a video in a week, literally a week, and I try to do like three a week, so that's not good. Um, it's just been, last week was a crazy week. I went to Lubbock, and then I went to Austin, and it's just been really busy. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm on the way to the grocery store right now. I am filming a meal prep video today. Is filming two videos on the same day a bad idea? Yes, because it gets hard when editing, trying to figure out which video, which clip goes to which video. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a meal prep video today. And I'm really excited about meal prep. Um, and I'm also gonna be filming some dinner ideas this week, which is exciting, yay. Now that I'm back home and in my kitchen and I've got all that stuff, or I've got all my stuff, so yay. After a long like week, basically, I feel like I wasn't home at all last week. Um, I'm excited to be able to cook dinners and stuff. So yay for that. Morgan leaves town on Thursday morning for a bachelor trip in Lake Charles? I don't know, somewhere with the casino, I'm not really sure. There's like a bunch of them going too. I think there's like 20 guys going, so that's gonna be a huge mess, I'm sure. But I will be on uh, puppy duty for the weekend, so I'll just be checking on Hutch after work, and then on, obviously on Saturday and Sunday, I'll go home for a little while, but, um, it's gonna be a little bit of a different week, like weekend for me, but I think I'm gonna have a lot of extra time to edit and upload and just work on the blog. I just pulled into HEB. I'm about to eat this before I go in though. Oh my goodness. There's like two equal spots, like empty and empty, and they chose to do the one on the side where they have to wait for people to pass it. I'm like, just turn left and there's nobody there. Anyways, I actually need to make my grocery list on my phone. I already have it in my planner. Um, I've talked about this before. This like black planner case is from Amazon. I can link it for you down below. And then you just buy inserts. You can get them from Etsy or like wherever. I like um, the Agendio. It is a little more pricey. I paid about $60 for my inserts, but they are completely customizable. Like I can show you on this page. It says YouTube. And then I have like film, edit, upload, and then notes. So it's, I mean, I obviously did that myself. I made the grid myself. Um, I have budget pages in the back where I filled out all of these categories myself. Um, paycheck one, paycheck two, YouTube as income. And then I have all my expenses written out that are like for sure monthly. Got to eat this good and gather chocolate chip cookie dough bar. It's a date and nut bar. Four ingredients, cashews, dates, chocolate chips, and sea salt. So when you look at the ingredients, it's all of that, except for they just um, explain what is in the chocolate chips. And it's organic cane sugar, organic cocoa liqueur, organic cocoa butter. So I'm cool with all that. I don't really, uh, I don't really have a, a description of how I eat. I'm not a clean eater. I'm just an eater. I try to focus on ingredients and just like what makes my body feel good. Trying to just keep things more simple, but really nothing is off limits. And yeah, I'm still counting calories kind of loosely, but I, um, yeah, I'm just enjoying all the new foods that I've been trying and trying new vegetables and new like sauces and stuff like making my own dressings has been really fun. So anyways, I actually would have never tried this before because I've tried one of those, I think it was like the RX bar, whichever one or the Lara bar, I can't remember. 
whichever one has like the dates and I hated it. I thought it was gross. Also, this was years ago. So who knows? My, my taste buds have changed a lot, but not a fan. And so I was, I saw these and I was like, oh no, then that was like a month ago, but I picked it up when I was at Target. So I was like, maybe it's good. Chocolate chip cookie dough like sounds like a good flavor. So I tried it the other day and it's like so good. So this is what it looks like. Obviously not that appealing, but it tastes really good. I was gonna go to Starbucks. I've already had like a cup of coffee at Morgan's house, which uh, I left my creamer there. Crap. Mm, I should buy another one actually. I'll add that to the list. I tried a new creamer, which is another thing that I would have never tried because it's like a coconut creamer. It's like, I don't know, dairy something, organic coconut creamer in French vanilla. Um, mainly I was just looking for another dairy free um creamer option that had obviously not perfect ingredients but better ingredients than the coffee mate one i was using just like less ingredients in general and it only has seven ingredients which is pretty good and i think it tastes really good it's definitely not a super sweet coffee but i'm like loving it like loving it you guys it's so good so i'll get some today and show you guys what that creamer is i actually posted it on my instagram but it was on a story so it's probably disappeared by now oh yeah that was like days ago it is really good though. So if you're um, interested in like dairy-free creamers and you think you wanna try something that's like not super, super sweet, or you could add like a stevia to it or whatever to make it sweeter, it is sweet. It's just not that like super sweet. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> but anyways, it's really good and I've been loving it. I just feel like I can taste the coffee like for more of what it is and it's not just like drinking a cup of like hot creamer, <laughs> I guess. Um, I've been loving it though. So I don't know what it is about like how, like how I've been feeling recently, but I'm just like all about trying new things. And it's been working out really well for me. So yeah, I'm off on a tangent, shocker. But basically what I was gonna say is that I um, was gonna go to Starbucks and get another coffee. My sister has me hooked on these iced lattes, which I wanna ask them like what's in it if there's um if there's the um what is it called classic if they put the classic syrup in it but she ordered me an iced latte with one sweet and low and it was so good it was so good and it wasn't overly sweet so that makes me think that the classic syrup isn't in it but i'm not sure i want to double check um and she said a latte which she has she's like works at a cafe that has like a really intense barista bar and she like barista there for a long time I guess a latte is just espresso and milk and it was amazing so I want to try to recreate that later when I get home because I was just gonna order one but I said no get yourself a date and nut bar and some water hydrate and then you can have your coffee so I'm gonna try to make one at home later and I'll experiment with you guys but with almond milk the cool brew that I showed you um and I don't know I have I think I have stevia at home I might pick up a what like those monk that monk fruit well i have some of that at home and i have coconut sugar i don't know we'll figure it out but i want to try to make like an iced latte at home and maybe that will be my replacement for the premier protein shakes which i like and honestly if i couldn't find anything that replaced it i would keep drinking them even though the ingredients are like basically crap um you have to like live your life you know what i mean but i feel like this could be a good replacement um that could have really good ingredients and still be freaking delish. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to eat this quickly. Uh, write my grocery list down in my phone since I have it in my planner. And I will see you guys at home when we start organizing and all of that jazz. Um, and I was just watching back the footage from that I took in the car this morning. <clears throat> just ignore the whole background. Yeah, I know my house is a mess. Shocker. Uh, it's dark in here because my fan is loud. I want to show you guys. I was, okay. I'm off topic. Basically, I was watching back the footage and I was like, oh my God, your hair looks so good. Obviously, I got it dyed. So that's um, one thing. But I feel like it just looks so freaking shiny and it hasn't been washed. I'm not going to tell you how many days. Several days. Like three days, four days. And let me show you what I've been using. So I teamed up with this company, let me not drop it, called Formulate, and it's awesome. So it's basically customized 
shampoo and conditioner, you fill out like a hair survey and they like hand mix it for you. Like you have like a hair chemist and they make the shampoo based on how you answer the survey. Like what type of hair do you have? Is it greasy? Is it dry? Um, what are you looking for in a shampoo? Like preserving your color, avoiding dandruff, like all sorts of things. It's super cool. And then they have an app where they will check in on you and then you can change anything. Like, oh, this isn't really working or, oh, I wish I had more of this. I chose like a sure seashore something like sea related and I am obsessed with it Morgan really likes it too which is funny because he commented on that my hair smells good um but it's very subtle which I like so I'm also doing a giveaway um you can click the link in the description box which is right below the video some people have issues finding the description box if you don't see it literally right below the video where it's playing click the title and it will drop down for you um there should be like a little drop down arrow arrow but usually if you press the title the description box will open. You will see the link to this giveaway. You get this size, eight ounces of shampoo and conditioner formulated for you. It's so awesome. You download the app. The app is free. Um, and they will even check in on you after. What I love the most about this, and I'm actually so happy that they contacted me at the time that they did, because y'all know I've been looking at more cruelty-free brands, switching over my makeup products and um, stuff in my home, things like that. And this is perfect on top of being cruelty free. It's like sulfate free, paraben free, all of the stuff that my hairstylist like warns me not to use. And I'm over here using like Pantene and she's like, seriously, stop. That's so bad. Um, so needless to say, my hairstylist is also happy with this. And a funny story, actually, I, when I was getting my hair dyed this time, I, um, was telling her about the shampoo and conditioner. Then we go back and like check how the highlights are, like how it's, you know, bleaching my hair and stuff. And she was like, okay, Lauren, this is lifting like 10 times better than it did last time. We had to do like extra work last time to even, to, even to get it to lift at all. It was really frustrating. And she was like, I don't know if it's the shampoo you're using, but it is definitely like your hair is different this time for sure. And the only thing I've done differently is switch my shampoo and conditioner. And she said that it lifted so much better. Um, I'm not in the best lighting, but it is a very, um, like a cool tone of, of course the sun goes away when I'm trying to show off my hair, but it's a lot cooler of a tone. And we were only able to get that because my hair was able to lift this time. And I bet it's because it wasn't covered in junk. It was actually clean. So the first time you use it, it doesn't lather that much. At least it didn't for me. And they did warn me of that. They said, use it again and it'll start to lather. That's how you know that your hair is nice and clean. So it's super cool. And I love it. And it smells good. And I don't use as much. I feel like with the Pantene or the Tresemme that I was using, I was having to use like a ton to get it on my hair. But this stuff, I don't have to use as much. Um, and then they even set you up so you can repurchase on like a subscription plan. And my next shipment, I have had this for almost 30 days. It'll be 30 days by the end of this week, which is probably when this video will go up anyways. And I'm going to use it tonight. But the next shipment, they like auto select it. You can always change it if you want. Is it until May? So that's crazy because I buy shampoo and conditioner way more often than that, even though it's like crappy. Um, and these are not expensive. They're like $20 a bottle. I'm obsessed with it. I love that you can pick your scent. I love that it's so personalized. Like it's just fun knowing that you're getting something specifically made for you. And then your chemist, like the person literally mixing these products for you, you can chat with them in um, the app. And if you feel like something isn't working or there's something off about it, just message them and they will work with you and you can switch stuff for your next shipment. So that's super cool. So sign up for my giveaway down below. Um, it is open now through March 21st. So, um, enter if you haven't all you have to do is enter your email and your first and last name well it might just be first name I can't remember but um make sure you click the link in the description box to sign up don't comment your email and name that doesn't work you have to click the link in the description box so go do that anyways okay y'all so I just finished <laughs> this was a pretty plate until I dug in this avocado toast go to my meal prep video and check out what I made this week but literally avocado turkey egg I'm so excited and it tastes so freaking good. I'm so pumped about it, but I'm going to have this and then we will experiment with the coffee a little bit and then hopefully start organizing. Okay. Sorry. I've got YouTube on in the background. It's actually Alexa Stone, um, but I'm going to try these tortilla chips. They're the Siete brand. Um, I haven't tried the Chipotle barbecue. I love the nacho. That's my favorite flavor. Um, and I have some extra avocado for breakfast just on the plate but I'm excited to try these so I'm just having 14 grams that's not quite this is exactly half of a serving and I feel like that's a lot of chips for half of a serving so I'm going to try these real quick 
Okay. Let me move you back. I'm gonna try these chips. I'm so excited. I like am obsessed. Let's get one with a lot of seasoning. Kind of spicy. So good. I love them. I don't know if they beat the nacho for me because they are a little bit spicy and I don't love that much spice, but they're good. And I would definitely say Chipotle and ranch there for sure. I'm going to seriously hatch. Can definitely pick up on the Chipotle and the ranch. I'm going to eat it with just the leftover avocado. So good. I'm about to, I can't decide. I think I'm going to do my meal prep in like sections. I'm going to go ahead and get the oven preheated. But yeah, I think I'm going to start roasting the stuff and then get stuff done around the house, get some organizing in. So let's just get to the fun part of the video. And, um, well, fun for you, hopefully, because there will be good music. But yeah, let's just move on and do that. Okay, so y'all just watched the coffee experiment. I like the way it tastes now. I feel like the coconut sugar didn't really do a lot. I tasted it by itself and it is sweet, but it's not that sweet. I added two teaspoons. I was using my half teaspoon um, measuring thing. So I added two teaspoons of this, which is about 40 calories. Um, and it just wasn't sweet enough after I added about a cup of the almond milk there's nothing added just almonds and water and about three of those three shots so I pulled out the monk fruit sweetener but I realize now that I don't I don't know that there's two different ones or what but mine has erythritol so those are the two ingredients erythritol and monk fruit extract so I feel like erythritol is not something I want but I don't know I bought this a long time ago so I, is there one that doesn't have erythritol? I need to look into that. Anyways, I did add a teaspoon of this and uh, this is actually very sweet. So it is um, tasting a lot better now. I guess this has like, you know, if you're keto, it's definitely awesome. It's zero calories, but I just don't know that I want erythritol. I don't know, I need to look more into it, but this is what I used overall could have totally omitted the coconut sugar because it's just not that sweet. And for a coffee, I feel like it needs to go in a hot coffee. This one I feel like dissolved a lot better. Oops. And overall, I, um, I do like the taste. So experiment number one, semi-successful. So I'm back on the couch. I'm trying to decide like what I should do. I feel like I want to edit that video and get it up today, which it'll be up today hopefully anyways. But ideally, I really need a meal prep while it's light outside because it's already cloudy, which means it's just going to be like the lighting is not going to get any better probably. So packages always. So yeah, I think I need to go ahead and start my meal prep and get um, organizing. And then once it's dark outside, I can chill on the couch and edit videos and such. So that should work out just fine. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do some laundry, show you guys some organization footage. I still have home goods stuff that I need to utilize that I'm excited about. Kind of go through some stuff, get rid of some stuff, all that jazz. Um, and, yeah, that is what my productive Sunday is going to be. So, I think I'm going to do my meal prep in, like, sections. Like, I'm going to start by, like, roasting the chicken and the vegetables. Organizing stuff while it's going. And then when it's done, I'll work on the pasta and, the, like, the tahiti dressing so
Okay, y'all. Sorry, this is like not a good angle. Okay, hold on. Okay, so dishes haven't been done. Kitchen hasn't been cleaned, but I'm gonna make some chicken for a salad for dinner. I didn't know what I was gonna have for dinner earlier when I was cooking, so I didn't cook extra chicken, but I should have. Um, I'm just gonna put a little olive oil on this pan, throw in a few chicken tenders. I think I'm gonna have a, um, I'm actually gonna use some of this spray. I don't know why I'm using both, but. I think I'm gonna just have like a big salad with chicken, feta, cucumber, tomato. Okay. That'll be enough. I'm just gonna do three of these cinders and leave these for a pesto recipe that's gonna be later in the week that I'm really excited about. But yeah, I'm just gonna throw in some chicken literally the same way that I did meal prep. So just some of this magic poultry seasoning, so good. And by some, I mean like a lot. Like you gotta douse it, so good. I love their blackened seasoning too on, uh, tilapia and chicken, so good. But I'm just gonna pop this into oof, the oven for like 20 minutes. So I haven't really done any organizing yet, but I did do some laundry. I need to move over the laundry now to the dryer. Um, I need to clean up the kitchen. I need to finish editing. Um, so yeah, there's still stuff to do, but I think I better go ahead and clean the kitchen while I'm up. Otherwise it's not going to get done and then I'm going to be pissed. So while the chicken is cooking, let's clean the kitchen. Then we'll make a big salad and get back to editing. And honestly, the organization <sighs> keeps getting put on the back burner and it sucks because that's like what I truly want to do, but I really, 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 really have to get editing done. So... Priorities, you know. Can't you see what you do to me? I just can't resist you. You got me back in love, drunk in love. I can't see. I need to sober up, sober up from this dream. But I can't be na na na. 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 Okay, y'all, so I finally am sitting down to eat my salad. I did put some chili lime seasoning on top of my cucumber. I'm just obsessed with that combo. The tahini ranch, chicken feta, tomato, and then the spring mix. 
I'm having a sparkling water in the orange flavor. About to watch some YouTube. Hutchie's hanging out. So yes, I'm gonna eat and we'll catch up in a bit. Okay, y'all, I'm like starving for some reason. So I'm having a banana, some Trader Joe's creamy almond butter, and a few chocolate chips. This brand, they're just the mini ones. That is gonna be my late night snack. I'm gonna chug some water and I'm gonna go to bed. I can't get out. Some of the things I can't say myself. 